did just launch a 30-day free hand therapy training. So if you're not aware, you should be, and you should sign up. It's in the link in the bio section. And um, it's also on our YouTube channel. It's just 30 days during the weekday. You'll get an email from me and it's gonna have a video. And sometimes those videos are long, sometimes those videos are short, and it just depends, it's gonna be on different topics. And hand therapy is huge, like, it's huge. You know, tons of topics. We have surgical, we have non-surgical. Um, we have hand cases, we have wrist cases, we have elbow cases, uh, shoulder, um, and the shoulder complex, right? So it's all like, almost like a quarter of your body. Um, how, like neck things, how do you rule out neck? How do you, you know, there's so much to hand therapy and uh, upper extremity management, specializing, that it's not something that just happens overnight and it's not something that happens um, in 30 days. Now, one of the things that I, have been noticing in different chats and stuff like that is like people are just you know like ramped up like oh my god how do I do this how to do that and um, you should you should always be asking that question um, but it's not something that's just gonna build up in one day it takes time and it takes persistence um, and it takes doing the same thing over and over and over like if you take a look at athletes um, why are they really good at something? You know, why are they really, really good at something? And they're really good at something because they do the same thing over and over and over again. If we start getting like, oh, well, I get, like, I want to do this one day and that one day and like, um, you know, kind of like all over the place, like we don't really develop that expertise um, over time and so, um, it is okay to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And that same thing is really about, and it's, it's not the same thing. I mean, like I said, surgical, non-surgery, we have muscles, we have nerves, we have bones, we have so many different types of injuries and a hand injury, a wrist injury. Oof, when I was teaching in, um, the um, mentorship program, I have the 12 week um, CHT prep mentorship type program. It's 12 weeks, I did two weeks of wrist. Holy moly, but there is a shit ton to know about the wrist. Uh, because the wrist is then tied to the forearm and then like now we're on to the elbows and, you know you've got the elbow but the elbow is just not so simple because it's tied to the forearm it's tied to the wrist and so everything's like really really related um, so it does take time but I think if you keep working on it um, you too can become an expert in that and now that we're in this crisis everyone's like oh telehealth that's great we've been doing it in my clinic for a while, and that requires skills too. It's not just about the platform. It's like, oh, everyone's like doing tele, like what's the platform? It's not just about the platform, and it's not just about patient education. So what are you as a therapist, you know? What are you providing that is like a certainty to help them understand what's going on? Because in a world where there's so much information, people are all over the place looking. They're YouTubing, they're Googling, they're all sorts of stuff. So it's really not just about education because we have more than just that. You know, it's really about um, our observational skills to be able to observe, to know what's normal so that we can know what's abnormal, right? So part of it's our observational skills. The other is our communication skills, right? How are we speaking to people? What are we saying? How are we saying it to them so that they understand? Now, as therapists, <laughs> I always say, we're the only ones that want to do therapy. <laughs> Majority of the time, our patients don't want to do it. <laughs> so we're the only ones that get really, really excited about it. Um, but it's really, it's about that. And I would challenge you to think and look and hear what you're saying to people. Um, I used to think that 
I, I could explain things so well, and to a certain extent I could, but then I started to really dive a little deeper into what I was saying, how I was saying it, it makes a really big difference. So you have your observational skills, you have your communication skills, and then you have to have your problem solving skills, right? Problem solving skills are really about, you know, how do you see this particular problem that, that someone comes to you and that they have, and then how do you break it down into um, bite-sized pieces so that you can solve their problem? So, yeah, <laughs> that's my breakdown of um, what you do as a therapist. It doesn't matter if you're live in person or if you are over the computer and doing things, right? You still need to have all of those things. The only thing that they are potentially missing is your two hands. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing they're missing, you know, which is a huge, huge component. But I think that there is a lot to be said about all three of those components, right? All four of those components. Like when you look at um, a leg, if you look at a chair, a chair has four legs, right? For the most part, a chair has four legs. Now, I have three, but if only has one or two, it's not so steady, right? Not as effective being a chair, holding somebody up so goes in therapy as well like you kind of have to have those four legs you know your observational skills your communication skills your problem solving skills and then your hands-on tactical skills now on the telehealth three legs still really good right still really can help somebody you just have to have really good three legs to hold it up <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> that is my thing about um, therapy, hand therapy in general. It's my framework for hand therapy in general and my framework for being on telehealth. So I hope that you can take something out of this conversation. And if you um, have any questions, then just go ahead and message me at any time. Obviously, I am doing the 30-day free um, hand therapy training. So if you haven't signed up for that, then please go to the link in the bio section and sign up. Um, our latest YouTube channel, um, our latest YouTube video has the link in the description right so there's a 30-day hand therapy training video where I kind of explain all about what that program is about what you get with it um, and there's a link in the description of that video on how to sign up so I hope that helps I am off <laughs>